How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are reviewing this humidifier. Yes, I know, we don't usually review this kind of stuff, but the name of the channel is Life Commando, so you could say this is some kind of life improvement kind of tech. But with that said, let's just get right into it. So a quick rundown on the specs, this thing can hold up to 4 liters or 1 gallon worth of water, which will last you up to a day depending on what settings you have it on, and the settings are low, medium and high. It also has a humidity stat, which I'm not too sure of the accuracy of. I do have another meter we can test out and compare, as well as a timer and a night light, which you have the ability to turn off using the sleep mode. That's all packed into a nice little minimalistic body, which I really like. So this thing is mainly made up of two parts. The top one, which is the actual container that holds the water, and the other part is the base that holds the electronics, the LCD, the buttons, the light, and of course, the ultrasonic magic generator. Here's a close look at the front, so we can see that it has a nice rubberized texture. Take a look at the bottom, we got some ventilation holes, as well as the humidity stat right over here and some information. You can see that it sips power, 30 watts, not too much, and yeah. That's the night light right there, and right inside here you get a little brush to clean up whatever dirt that may end up here. And then we have the main container, so this part is translucent so you can kind of see where the water level is and the light will be shining through here. Take a look at the bottom, we can see that there's a couple things going on. First of all you have a handle, so when you're filling this thing you can just hold it like this under the tap. Right here we have the actual drainage hole slash the filling hole, so you can fill it up right here. Just put the tap water in there and you're good to go. That's the pole where the actual ultrasonic magic comes out of, so that goes all the way up top here which has this little knob which we'll get back to in just a bit. And right inside of here we have some beads which I think filter out the water. They actually make the water smell good. And that's what it looks like on the back. You can still see through it which is nice. On the top we have another handle so still translucent. And then we have the little pointer thingy. So again the smoke comes out of here and then you can point this thing wherever you want. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and we'll be back in just a bit and show you guys how it runs. Alright so I went ahead and put some water in here. I didn't fill it up all the way. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. When you first set it up, you're going to hear it gargle and bubble and you'll be like, okay, what's going on? Is it leaking? Well, no, it's not. Basically, what's going on is that the bottom level, the base will actually hold some water on top of the actual ultrasonic generator. So now I know it's not the correct term, but it sounds cool and it makes the video a tiny bit less boring. So I'm going to lift this up and you can see that the bottom here is now filled with water. And you'll also notice that the top part is not secured whatsoever, which means if you knock the table or whatever or push it over, it will spill and you're not going to have a great time. So just make sure you have this thing on a stable platform that nobody's going to get to. Especially your cat, who knows. Alright, so when you first turn on this thing, you're going to notice that it will flash. So currently, it's telling you the humidity level of the room. Now, how accurate it is, I'm not too sure. If my current meter is correct, I could probably tell you that it is off by 10%. And I probably trust this thing more than the one here, because the humidifier is the one that's making the humidity. And with that said, they have probably done that on purpose to kind of compensate for it making humidity. So it gets a more accurate reading, which probably doesn't work out very well. But that's okay because I have this humidity sensor that's near my computer so I can get a better accurate reading in the area that I'm in. Now, how accurate is this thing? Well, in my research, this thing is pretty accurate according to a lot of people, so we'll take their word for it. All right, so to turn it on, you simply press this button right here, and then you'll see it turn on. You can see that the fan icon is running. The humidity stand is still going, and it's telling you that it's giving you some mist. Now, if you want to increase the level and decrease that, you can press it until you get to low, medium, or high, which does make a big difference. Now, if you want to set it up to a certain humidity level, you can go ahead and press this button right here, and you can set it to whatever level you want. So right now it's off, and then it will turn on once we hit a level, which currently it is at around 42, and it will either turn on or off depending on the current humidity. Now, if you don't want to control it by humidity, you can go ahead and use the timer function, which will count from one hour all the way to 24 hours, and it will keep running until that timer is up. Now, if you're using this at night, you can go ahead and enable and disable the night light, which will also turn off the LCD here. So Cycling through it will actually turn off the LCD and it'll end up with the sleep icon and then pressing it once more will turn on the LCD and the third time it will turn on the night light which you can see right over here. And that's pretty much it. So that said, nothing left to do but to go ahead and take a look at the actual mist and uh, yeah, vape it out. Alright, so we are currently set to the high level and you can see that the mist is not very visible because I have some very bright lights going on right now. So the night light is currently on but it doesn't make that big of a difference. But if we go ahead and turn off the lights, Still not that interesting, but this time you can see it a bit better. And once again, and once again, if it is bothering you, you can go ahead and turn that off and you can cycle between what kind of lighting you want. But it is still not that interesting, so let's go ahead and spice things up. Yes, it does make a whole lot of mist and it's pretty awesome. Now, if you're wondering and you're someone who has never owned an actual humidifier, what you're getting here is not hot, it's actually cool and it is at room temperature. Now, if you keep your hand here long enough, it will actually become very moist. Now you're probably wondering, is this going to affect your electronics? Is it going to damage them? Is it going to break anything? 
is a safe in your room? Well, it's only going to happen if you're putting electronics directly in front of the mist here. Otherwise, you're going to be perfectly fine. Just run this in your room and it's going to be pretty safe. And now here's how my experience has been with it. So I've actually had this thing since November 2018. And at the time, the humidity in my room was at base level, which is around 40 or 50% or so. And at the time, I really didn't need it. When I turn it on, the room would get really humid and it just gets really clogged up and overall just really congested, which is not good. So up until now, I've turned it on and off every now and then. I would refill it, turn it on in a different room, keep it running to see if it's going to fail on me. It has never failed. It's always been running perfectly fine. It works like a charm. The mist is absolutely fantastic. Although it smells pretty good, I probably don't recommend sticking your nose in there. It is water, but it is going to get into your lungs. And once again, it is definitely not good for you. So if your room is already humid, don't get this thing. It's not going to work for you. You're not going to use it. It's going to be bad. Just don't. On the other hand, if you start waking up with a really dry nose, then this thing might be useful. Give it a try, see how it goes. For me personally, I didn't need it at night. My sleeping room was perfectly fine in terms of humidity. But recently, I got pretty sick, and that was mainly because of the weather. Not only I would wake up in the morning where it was really dry, because during those seven days, at the exact same time, every night, 12 o'clock, I would just simply start coughing, and it just simply did not feel great. I was trying to get work done, but I was simply just coughing the whole time. My nose felt really dry, it felt really cold, so I had no other choice but to go to sleep. But once I turned on this thing, it made a whole lot of difference. Within 30 minutes or so, I actually stopped coughing. The humidity in my room was much better, it was less dry, and overall it was just a quality of life improvement, especially at night during those days when I was sick. Now the question is, is this thing for everyone? Probably not, but if you are someone who's struggling with a dry nose or a dry clogged up face, in the morning or at night, like I did, then this thing is probably worth giving a shot. And that's pretty much how my experience has been with it. It's not a whole lot, but I can tell you that it does make a difference. And if the weather around you or inside your room is dry, then this thing is definitely worth trying. And this one specifically looks great, it looks nice. They have a black and white version, a white and blue, and this full black version, which is my favorite. And it's probably the nicest looking humidifier that you'll find on Amazon. And that's actually pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have owned one of these guys and let me know how your experience has been with them. Other than that, that is pretty much it for this video. So thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for content like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone.